sort of creamy, beigey colour. Yeah, the creamy, beigey night. You can't call him the creamy, beigey night. It's ridiculous. You certainly can't call him the white night. That's a zonking great figaroony. Well, what can we call him, then? The whitish night. Mm, OK, now let's get on. The whitish night. Mushrooms, tomatoes, newts, frog spawn. What a revolting man he is. There's his teeth. What? Why can't he have a bowl of muesli like everybody else? There's his teeth, Cozy. Not that it'll do him any harm, more's the pity I could cover this lot with sulfuric acid. He'd still shovel it down and ask for seconds. There's his paper. I swallowed a live chicken claims record breaking nun. Interesting, that, isn't it? No, it's garbage. He eats garbage, he reads garbage, and he smells like a sumo wrestler's laundry basket. There's his post. Oh, his library book's overdue. He's probably eaten it. One bill, a couple of bribes, postcard from Jerusalem. Oh, one of those things about French windows. What's it say? How about installing this attractive patio and French windows in your castle? It could be cheaper than you think. Not that, the postcard. Oh. Um. Dear John, having a wonderful crusade. Wish you were here. Bax and Swithin's Day. On his way, Your Majesty! Jerusalem. That's not in England, is it? It's foreign. Who's it from? Uh, lots of love, Dick. Ah, Dick. You're right. Yes, uh, you take up his breakfast. No. I said you take up his breakfast! But every time I take up his breakfast, that's because you know he'll be in a bad mood. It's that postcard, isn't it? No, it is not, and I order you to take up his breakfast! Nottingham! If you're not in front of me personally, within the next two seconds, I'll dip you in butter! Cut off your crust and serve you up as eggy bread! Come in, Your Majesty! Absolutely here at this very moment, Your Majesty. I'm just outside the door and turning the handle so I can give you a lovely breakfast in bed just the way you wanted, Your Majesty. Here you are, Your Majesty. About time, too! What's in the post? Oh, the usual. So, at fantastic risk to themselves, my merry men have robbed the rich and will now distribute their booty to you, the poor. Right, little Ron, and what have you got for us today? This? Yes. What else? And this? What is it? I think it's a table decoration. A hat and a table decoration. That's what you've robbed from the rich, is it? Well, there's, uh... This? <gasps> Isn't he sweet? He's so sweet! <laughs> Let's go and find you a little friend, shall we? Would you like this teddy for your very own? No. Of course you would. No, I wouldn't. It's really tacky. <gasps> Don't say that. You'll make him cry. Now, what shall we call him? Ripoff? Yes, Ripoff. That's a nice name. Right, so who wants the hat? He 
he's in a bad mood, isn't he? Bad mood doesn't describe it. He's completely lost his rag. Oh, yeah, I reckon borrow mine. He's angry, he's scared, and his job's on the line. Gary, we're going to have to give our dearly beloved visitor the biggest welcome home party in the history of catering, OK? Otherwise, we're likely to be fitted to the royal battering ram and used as a silencer. Right, now I want you to write this down. Yes, sir. But excuse me, sir, oh, there's flags and bunting and all the other rubbish people hang up when they're pretending to have a good time. Yeah, but sorry, there's, oh, there's jugglers but... and fire eaters and one of those huge inflatable pig's bladders for the kids to bounce up and down on. A bit of food. Not just a bit of food, Gary. We're going to have lobsters in jelly, baby swans on toast, hedgehogs in aspic. Food on, food, on, food on. on. On plates, Gary, and, and balls and, and, I know, I know, the royal tea set. We'll use that really swanky stuff William the Conqueror used when he had his famous tea break at the Battle of Hastings. 1066. No, quarter past 11, I think it was. And we'll make the whole thing a big surprise. He'll have been away for years and years, and, and he'll open the castle gate, and there'll be, be nobody there to greet him. And then, and then, oh, yes, that's it. Oh, that's really sweet. He'll love that. What? How long have we got? When's he due back? Uh, since Withings Day. And when's that? Ah, uh, um... Think, oh, come on! Yeah. Since Withings Day. Um, since Withings Day. When on earth is it? Uh, Hello. Happy since Withings Day. Now, let me get this clear. My men have spent the entire morning risking torture and death in order to provide you with hats, table decorations and soft toys. And not one of you wants them. No. Nothing more we can do to help you? No. 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 OK, fine. Thanks for your attention. Come on, lads, we're wasting our time. We'll go to another village where we're appreciated, where people realise we're a... What's the word? Rip-off. I beg your pardon. If they don't want him, I do. <laughs> Come on, Robin. Right, men. Here we are. Now. Search the huts for food, then round up the little ones. Give them a good going over with an it comb and bring them back to the castle. Just the little ones, mind you. And remember, the people of this community look to us for law and order, so no violence unless it's absolutely necessary. Ah! You're redundant. Pack up your bows and arrows and get down to the dole office. What do you mean? Let's face it, nobody wants our help. We're about as much use as a reindeer at a cricket match. I'm sorry, lads. But I'm afraid we're not the merry men any longer. We're the miserable, unemployed men. Never mind. It was good while it lasted. It was better than being on a youth training scheme. You could hang your woolly on it. Pardon? When it was your turn to bowl, you could take your woolly off and hang it on the reindeer's antlers. Finding another job for you isn't going to be easy, is it, rabies? If only the king were here. Yeah, he could chop our heads off and put us out of our misery. No, not John. His brother, the real king. What, Richard? Yes, if he came back, things would be different, wouldn't they? I don't know. He hasn't been here for ten years. He's been off on the First Crusade, shooting people in Beirut. He's noble and kind and loves his people. Yeah. Before he left England, he said to King John, Brother, whilst I'm away, rule my subjects wisely and well. For if thou dost not, then on my return my wrath shall fall upon you, and I shall give you a right going over. And he's really gentle, and all the forest creatures love him. Yeah. If he was at a cricket match, all the reindeer would come up to him and lick him. And I bet he's really dishy, too. All strong and thoughtful and dependable. The sort of bloke you'd go to if you were really in trouble. Like us. Us? If people wanted help, they'd go to an armless octopus before they came to us. That's not true. Yes, it is. Marion, we want your help. No, it isn't. It's the sheriff and his men. They've stolen all our food and taken the children to the castle. Yes, and they took my pet hedgehog and they're going to bake him in his jacket. And it's a brand new jacket. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. We've closed the office, you see. There's not much call for the merry men round here anymore. Rubbish! Of course we'll help you. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Let me handle this, please. 
Yes, good people of Worksop, we will come to your rescue. In the name of King Richard, the true monarch of all England, the Merry Men will free your children from the tyrant's grasp. To Nottingham! <laughs> Shut up! Thank you. Right, now, this is your Uncle Graham. Hello. This is your Uncle Gary. And I'm your Uncle Sheriff. Ooh. We've brought you here because this afternoon we've got a very special guest coming to the castle and you're going to give him a lovely surprise, OK? <laughs> Shut up! Now, when he gets here, there'll be nobody else here at all. Then, on this table, he'll spy a huge, scrumptious banquet. And the moment he tippy-toes towards it, you'll burst out of your hidey holes, dressed in sweet little costumes, and you'll recite this. And it'll be sweet, and it'll be lovely, and it'll make our special guest feel all warm inside, won't it? Because if he doesn't feel all warm inside, he'll sack my boss. And if he sacks my boss, my boss will sack me, and if my boss sacks me, I'll get all cross and grumpy. And when I get all cross and grumpy, it's big trouble for little children, understand? <laughs> I think they're a bit scared of you, sir. Nonsense, they love me. Watch this. Hello, little boy. That's a very smart-looking teddy. What's he called? Ripoff. Oh, hello, Ripoff. Tell me, Ripoff, are the boys and girls going to have a lovely time at the surprise party? They certainly are, Uncle Sheriff. So tell them to wipe their little eyes right now. Oh, he spoke to me. Did you hear him? Well, you'd better stop crying then, haven't you? See, they adore me. This is going to be great. You get them into their costumes and start rehearsing. You come with me. Ah, what a clever little bear he is. Mm. Bye now. That man is pathetic. So we just knock at the castle door, do we, and say, excuse me, I've come to rescue the children. No, oh, that <laughs> whinging, Robin, we'll find her. Wait a minute. That cart. Quick, if you get. But we won't be able to start it. Why not go? Because we haven't got a key. Rabies, you don't need a key to start a horse and cart. Don't you? No, we can jump start it. What? Look, you take these two bits of wires, right? You stick them in the back of the horse, the horse jumps forward. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go! Oi! Sorry to bother you, O oh glorious majesty. Ah, he's here, isn't he? I'm ruined! I'm ruined! No, it's just that we were wondering if we could borrow the royal tea set. What? Well, you do want to make a good impression, don't you? Well, yes, yes, of course. Of course I do. Yes, it's under there. But if you damage it, you die. It's worth more to me than you've earned in your entire life. What, more than 87p? Do you know how this stuff came into my family slime ball? It was given to my great 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 grandfather, King William, by a grateful merchant whose life he saved. So it's precious to me. Understand? Now, I know I shouldn't say this because I made them myself, but I think those costumes are really effective. Now, help yourself to a couple of these. Now, you're the littlest, so you get the big stick. Now, let's do it again with the words and the movements. Only this time, twiddle your little things, OK? One, two, three, four. God save our gracious children. that? Come on, we're rehearsing. That was very interesting about William the Conqueror, sire. How did he save the grateful merchant's life, then? He said, if you give me this tea set, I won't kill you. Oh, what a lovely story. It gives you a warm glow inside, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like the feeling you get when you sit on a red-hot poker. Pizzas? Yes, me old matey. Here's the order. Five jumbo-sized pizzas for the castle. But we haven't ordered any pizzas. Are we there yet? Shut up! Hey. Uh, 
Shut up shop for the night I had when the order came in. But pizzas is my trade and what I oh, says it. Right. Who's ordered pizzas? I don't know. It's on here, Squire. And what I says is, if the customer orders a pizza, the customer gets a pizza. Psst. Five jumbo-sized pizzas with extra olives. Yeah, in the name of Joe. Who? Never heard of him. Sorry, but you'll have to take your pizzas elsewhere. But if I don't think, off you go. My... I can't waste any more of my precious time. I've got a rehearsal to attend with these. Wait a minute. Where they gone? Now, let's think this through carefully. We came out of King John's bedroom. Right, and you said if you'd stayed in there a minute longer, you'd have thrown up all over his bedspread. All right, all right. And we came down the corridor carrying the tea set. The tea set! You! Come back! Come back this instant! You can't have that tea set! It's worth a fortune! Is it? Oh, good! He said, is that again your wonderfulness? Nottingham, have you got a sore throat? No. Would you like one? No, my lord, <laughs> certainly not. Gary, round up a posse. A thousand gold pieces to the man who finds the tea set. Will this one do, sire? A posse, Gary, a posse. Don't worry, my lord. They'll be on their knees begging for mercy in five minutes. Is it how long? Well, five minutes ish. Nottingham, we've been going round in circles for three hours. If you've lost them, I'll take the tip of your tongue in one hand and with the other No, I'll... no, no, your wonderfulness, wait, please. Don't you remember? What? Well, if I'm not mistaken, Graham, could you go over to that bush and pull that branch, please? What? This one? It's just as I thought. You're right. Their hideout should be just around this... My lord. I may just add a word. No, you thing. may not. To Look, do just the... go and get the tea set and let's things. get out of here. Yes, it's just that I've been in this sort of situation Look, before. Look, Dick is going I... to turn up at the castle any minute now. But it's just the sort of thing There'll that... be no one to meet him. No banquet, no tea set. It's possibly the end of my highly promising career. Yes, but you think everything is going just the way you want and it. And definitely the end of your highly pathetic life. And then you find you've been lured into... Nottingham! <sighs> Yeah. <coughs> and don't get any closer, please. You! God! And I should advise your men not to draw their swords. You're surrounded, not only by a fanatical band of woodland terrorists, but also by a highly militant parish council, not to mention a herd of killer rabbits. You are, of course, most welcome to have your tea set back. But first, there is the small matter of the money. What money? The thousand gold pieces I believe the sheriff offered to the man who found the tea set. But he hasn't got a thousand gold pieces. If he had, he wouldn't be working for me, would he? Guards, seize it! Before you do anything hasty, may I just point out that tied to each leg of this rather wonky table is a string, the other end of which is attached to a small child. Take one step forward, I shall give the order to pull, and the table will collapse. That tea set belongs to the National Trust. You wouldn't dare! Pull! Thousands of Japanese tourists come to England each year just to see it. Pull! But anyway, it's a thousand gold pieces for any man who finds it. And you're a girl. Sheriff, that's really sexist. Pull! No! All right, here's your thousand gold pieces. Just give me back my tea set. I know when I'm beaten. Wait! Yes, I am the Whitish Knight. And now I will reveal my true identity. Oh, no. I recognise that voice. <laughs> oh, brother Dickie! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. 
Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Isn't he hunky? Now he's home again, everything's going to be all right, isn't it? Are you blind? Look at him. He's a dead ringer for his brother. They're all the same, these royals. Don't be ridiculous. Your Highness, I am only a poor, rather attractive servant girl. But I beg you, give me leave to speak. Your request is granted. Have you seen the poverty in which these people live? I have. And the injustice and cruelty meted out to them? I have. And their houses burning, their children terrorised, and their hedgehogs baked in their jackets? Indeed, I have. And all I can say is, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Sorry? John! When I left for the Crusades, I thought you would make a bad king. But I was mistaken. You have ruled my people wisely and well. You've maintained law and order, set up an efficient tax system, and weeded out the troublemakers. Well, I, I did my best. I can go back to Bear Root now with my mind at rest, knowing that you and your men are making England great once again. Hip, hip! Hooray! Thank you. I'm sure he will. There's just one thing, Johnny. Yes, Dickie? Well, that little creep who did the demolition job at our crockery. Mm. How shall we punish him? Make him eat every last piece of it? Yes! And then wash it down with a gallon of quick-drying glue. <laughs> and then shake him up and down until he's all stuck back together again. And then squeeze him so hard that the entire tea service comes out again, cup by cup. <laughs> Nottingham! Yes, Your Royal Highnesses? Come on! Tea time! Who, me? Certainly. <laughs> so that's it, is it? Back to the village flogging dead rats. And bashing my head against trees. And being an idiot. And making swanky underwear for stupid noblemen. What? Do you want to spend the rest of your lives at home in comfort and safety? Well... Or would you rather live a life of danger and hardships and adventures? I'm glad you asked me that, because I... We may be just a small band, but our names will blaze through history like a big blazer. And we'll be legends forever and ever. And in years to come, people will sit round watching our story on little glowing boxes, won't they? Yeah! yeah. Well... Maid Marion and her merry men will never die, Robin. I suppose not. All right, back to a forest lifestyle it is, then. People watching us on little boxes? Honestly. Marianne, why don't you carry on with what you 